Hey friends, uh, my name is Bobby, and I uh, front a chamber folk group in Seattle called Townside Solitaire. Uh, we're a six-piece group uh, made up of myself on guitar and vocals, and some dear friends of mine backing me up on cello, violin, flute, clarinet, and piano. We, generally speaking, play songs of grief, love, loss, heartbreak, mental illness, stuff like that, to a backdrop of thoroughly composed chamber ensemble parts written by me and played by my friends. Um, over the last year, we, in 2023, we wrote our first full-length album. It's called Glad to be Alive. For uh, those of you that are aware of us or have been to our shows or know what we're about, uh, you're f probably familiar with the story of my older brother. I speak a lot on stage about losing my older brother to cancer when I was 13. And it was a very you know, a formative thing in my life that shaped how I experience my friends, my family, my siblings, everything, you know, as grief does. Uh, and this album is primarily about grief, but unfortunately it's about well, not unfortunately, it just so happens to encompass more than just that. Um, over the last year, in February, I learned of my uncle passing in Bali, Indonesia, where my mother was born. And uh, my sisters and I rallied. You know, we know very deeply what it feels like to lose your older brother. And even though we know our mother lost Chris, my older brother, uh, just like we did, uh, that was not as easy of a pain to empathize with, but this one we knew. Uh, so we rallied and we went to Bali with her on short notice in March to support her through all of the processions of the Balinese funeral and ceremonies that were to take place, and that was already a very intense and very grief-stricken environment to be in, but while while, uh, while we were there, I learned of the awful and terrible news that a childhood best friend of mine, his name was Tanner James, uh, he, he took his own life, and, you know, he was really close with me when I was quite young in junior high and elementary school, but as a family friend, our little sisters were also very, very close friends, as well as our older brothers, my older brother Chris and Tanner's older brother. And those two things, plus falling in love and getting ghosted, just regular romantic stuff, uh, launched me into an extremely formative and grief-stricken year of change and growth and love and really kind of changed the way that I saw people, saw things, changed the way I held my friends, changed how close I kept myself with my family and everything. And that, in short, is what these 11 songs are about. There's more than that within them. There are, there are love songs. Uh, there are songs of suicidal ideation, which is something that myself as a bipolar neurodivergent person struggles a lot with and to grapple with grief over my uncle, my friend, my older brother as a human that has a hard time wanting to be here, it, it gets a little bit complicated in my brain and that in short is what this album is about. Um, our last two EPs, we've released two studio EPs that are self-produced and self-recorded, and I only have so many microphones and space and everything, so as a chamber ensemble that's used to uh, organically playing together on stage, you know, pushing and pulling time and just, you know, going with each other, um, that sort of changed the way things sound. We had to record things uh, part by part. Um, I'm not a professional, so it you know, came out as good as it could have, but we knew that with our first large body of work, we wanted to play at the same time. We wanted to be in the same room together, and we wanted it to be as organic as possible, which meant a studio, which meant money that we don't have, and 
an opportunity to, you know, open our arms to our community and our friends and family to ask for some support and to take you all along on the journey with us, you know? Um, and so I started to tour local uh, recording studios in Seattle. We are very fortunate to have a lot. Um, and when I went up to Sage Art Studios and toured their beautiful space and hung out with uh, their studio engineer, manager, man, uh, Jordan Cunningham, him and I had a really, really great connection and I had a really, really good feeling about the space. And he also talked me into considering recording everything on tape, all analog. And I think that's beautiful. I think it matches our organic, raw, genuine sound and songs. And that is what we are set out to do uh, next month in February. We'll also be pressing it to vinyl, which is really, really exciting. Uh, the most we've ever done is burnt our stuff to CDs and I wrote on it with Sharpie. So thank you so much for watching and uh, listening to my story. And I hope uh, you'll join us in this journey for our very first full-length album. Much love you Bye. Thank you.